So um, welcome to the um, first of the workshops being run um, for us by Pink Zebra. Um, as you know, Surrey Heath has a long history of association with the military, both at Deep Cut, which is, is the, the main area that we've, we've um, had very close relationships with for a number of years, but also at um, Sandhurst, which is, although it's not actually in the borough, the entrance is in the borough, and we've always had very close um, working relationship with them. And indeed, we've, we are close to Aldershot and Purbright as well, as um, many people who've lived here for a number of years who um, hear the, the shooting on the ranges for a long time. I can remember when I was a child I heard it here, so it's been going on a, a long association. Um, earlier, we have, um, because of our association and because of the close working that we've had with the military, we actually signed a, a community covenant, one of the few boroughs in Surrey that actually did push this forward. And we were very keen that we brought together all different organisations, both the army, ourselves, voluntary organisations, and indeed people like the, the Mal in Camberley who also signed that covenant. And as part of that, we were able to put forward um, a grant application to the um, Community Covenant Grant Fund. I'm not sure whether that's the actual title, but that's what, it, that's what it's there for. And um, the grant was awarded for a series of workshops to actually see um, if, if the community can come together to work and see what are the issues, what are the problems, and can we come up with some practical or even some blue sky ideas about how to solve them. Um, as, as we all are aware, Deep Cut, the garrison at Deep Cut will be leaving us um, and that will bring a, 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 some problems of its own. The married quarters, as Richard has explained to me, are staying and, and what it would be really exciting would be for how to, to think about ideas about not only how the military can support those married quarters and the people in them, but also how the community can come together to, to help as well. This is the first of the workshops. There will be others. I think the next one is the 19th it, it of October. October. 19th of October, and that will be in the arena um, in Camberley, because that's trying to focus on the, the Sandhurst and, and Aldershot um, side of the, of the um, borough. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to hold you up any longer. Um, I hope you have a really good day. I'd be really interested to see <coughs> what ideas come out of it. Um, I, will, I will stay around just to sort of hear what's been said for a while, but if you will excuse me, I have got to get back to Surrey Heath Borough Council, so I won't be here for the rest of the day. But I hope you have a very good day, enjoy it, and I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing what comes out of it. Thank you very much. Um, well, what happened here today uh, is we brought together 20 individuals, uh, drawn from both the military and the civilian community, uh, with an idea of looking at the what can we do to make the life in Deep Cut as, as good as we can. Um, there are perceptions out there that there's a very split military uh, and civilian community. Um, there's the uncertainty of the closure of the Princess Royal <coughs> Barracks just down the road. And there's, there's a feeling of unease, potentially, that we think in the, about the community. So what we're trying to do today is look at some of those perceptions, see what they are, um, see where we stand, find out what is important to people in the Deep Cut, uh, and most importantly, pull together those things that we can do, um, what we can do as a community to make life better in our village, uh, what we think perhaps the, uh, the, the borough council can be doing, uh, and indeed you know, what issues need to go up to a, a national or an MOD level. Uh, and that's been the output of the day. Okay, and is there, is, cause I mean I, I've been at the event all day and really enjoyable. Um, and some fantastic ideas have came out of today, but is there any of that stick out in your mind? Um, yes, I, I, I agree that, that, that some of the thought uh, processes that were based on the, the low level uh, seem to be very good. The idea of the two uh, the community centres uh, operating as, as one entity rather than two uh, incredibly uh, uh, separate uh, organisations is, is very interesting. Um, yeah, that is, you know, the, the, the economy of scale for both of those that means that you can do far more working together than try and replicate two things mm. uh, in what's actually about 300 metres as the crow flies difference, uh, distance. So um, that's a very exciting idea. Some of the events that are being planned, some of the initiatives like uh, having a, a personal mentor for, for newly arrived families so they know where the local supermarket is, where the best place to walk the dog is, where's the best place to get the meat, uh, and all those other sort of little things that you don't find out very quickly. Mm. Um, all good stuff, and we're going to take this forward. Two more workshops to, to go. 
at the end of which we'll be producing a report for the, uh, the Borough Council uh, and, and hopefully turning that in to some serious actions that's going to make life uh, in this community uh, so much better. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure.